You rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. This story is so crazy, y'all. But anyway, let's just get into it verbatim. A South Florida teacher was taken to the hospital last week after she was attacked by a five-year-old student, leaving her dazed and unresponsive. Before she started coughing and dry heaving. The unidentified instructor was found by first responders sitting on the ground against the wall and appearing to be in a faint state at Pine Lakes Elementary School. Now, the victim was clearly weak and dazed, able to blink and breathe regularly, but at no point was able to vocally respond respond or show signs of a response, the report said. The troubling incident started when a five-year-old boy had to be removed from class for throwing things around and flipping the chairs, police said. It started when a four-year-old and five-year-old began throwing things around the classroom and at teachers. The youngster was taken to an empty cool-down room where the attack on the teacher allegedly took place. While the young suspect is still being investigated for possible aggravated assault with hands, fists, and feet, it's unlikely he'll be criminally prosecuted, a police spokesman told NBC News on Monday. This is the third time the teacher was taken in ambulance because of injuries from the same student. Last time, the student pinned the teacher under a bookcase. Prosecutors would be hard pressed to show that this five-year-old had the ability to distinguish right from wrong, the police representative said. The victim in her late 30s or early 40s is about five foot four with a slender frame. She suffered a concussion and other injuries after the enraged special education student between 50 and 60 pounds unleashed on a teacher according to the union sheet. Attacked and jumped on her with his whole body weight and she fell. She was placed on a stretcher and taken to Memorial Regional Hospital. The instructor had been leading an exceptional student education class with a group of children with some type of special needs or special disability with all kinds of different diagnoses. 13 years of teaching experience. The way he pounced on her and the way she fell backwards and smacked her head, it was a severe concussion. She's got some other bodily injuries from him jumping on her, attacking her, kicking, punching, biting that's going to lead to surgery. The district, though, did share a message that Principal Susan Sassy sent to staff and parents acknowledging that there had been an incident that occurred in school, which required a staff member to be transported to a local medical facility. At all times during the incident, our campus was secured. As always, the health, safety, and well-being of our students and staff continues to be my highest priority. Mm, that is crazy, man. I can't imagine a five-year-old with so much anger and rage who can cause all of this physical damage to a whole adult, you know? Continuously attacked the teacher after she was on the floor and unresponsive. But the level of anger, violence, rage, and intensity for this teacher is not the norm. But then again, how can they blame a child if it's special needs? How can they even attempt to try to see if they're going to charge him? The child could be charged with aggravated battery and causing bodily harm. That doesn't make any sense to me, but I don't know, man. This is just crazy. But what are y'all thinking, though? We want to know, so leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. PettyBlog.com, signing out.